this fight's getting a little intense. And this legit, oh my god, he's gonna ruin it. I'm surprised that I've been surviving for this long. Hey, Orbo, welcome back to the Summoner Master Mode. We're back here. I'm beating the hell out of a uh, goblin summoner because, you know, I'm the head honcho here. Can't have any other summoners in this world. It's just me. I'm the only one that's allowed to get their ass beat by mech bosses. Not no damn summoner goblin. It's kind of weird how the uh, goblin summoner doesn't drop a summon, right? Yeah, it doesn't drop a summon unless there's a new one for 1.4. Because again, I, I haven't seen all the stuff in 1.4 yet. But uh, I know a couple of mods that actually add in summons for the Goblin Summoner. But yeah, we're here. I'm setting up a little arena here. Uh, shout out to the guy. If I put his name on the screen or whatever, I just looked up Dread Nautilus Guide. That's exactly what I typed in on YouTube. And this is what came up, this sort of setup. You fish up the Dread Nautilus. You sit in here with a bunch of buffs like potion buffs and uh passive buffs from you know the statue the campfire the honey and you just let the dread nautilus hit you every now and then most of his attacks will be blocked we'll see it in action soon okay let me set up everything correctly and then we'll see it in action uh hopefully nothing is uh tweaked from the strat that this person used uh, but I guess we'll find out soon, won't we? I got a lot of good comments, a lot of good tips. I recommend you guys always leave tips in the comments for me. They help out a lot. But make sure you do research on your own tips. Because, you know, the god, the the spider summon thing, where people were telling me that the spider summon was 0.75 of a summon slot, that's not a thing anymore, man. That's, that's gone as of 1.4. And uh, it has no use for me. And there's still people telling me, telling me that tip. You just make sure to you do your research if you're giving tips to other people. But yeah. We'll get to the fight now. Go ahead. Jump cut to the fight. All right, boys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get this damn. I hope that's going down there. Oh, I don't think it's going down there. Let's get this damn fish. Tama, Tama, Tama. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Leave me alone, bro. Yeah, I had another tip. People told me to use the snap thorn with like a titan glove, power glove, whatever. I upgraded it because the snap thorns summon tag damage is uh, very very nice so let's do it it might get a little annoying but let's do it let's fish up the dread nautilus we want the dread nautilus we don't want anything else all right dread nautilus finally ow why the hell did he just walk up and hit me like that all right buff up summon one more go get him boys did i ping him i think i did okay don't kill me am i supposed to drink a potion i'm gonna drink a potion ah what the hell He's supposed to not be hitting me, but he's hitting me. This strat better work, bro. Who did this dribbler is trying to get in here? Can I, uh... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So that attack, I hear, is damn near impossible to dodge. It's all good. We eat those. We, we eat those. Straight up. I have my wings off. Or not on. Uh, for obvious reasons. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, that was kind of close. Yeah, we slap him with the snap thorn. We hide in the box. Rinse and repeat, plain and simple. And then we just spam the whip while we're at it. As you can see, our sharp boys are doing work. Our pointy boys. Oh, we might get hit here. I really don't want to be affording the extra damage. We're good, we're good. So we're also honestly hoping for the item to drop. That's kind of the other thing here, is hoping the item drops. But it's all good. We already picked up another tier, so we can work with it. Oh, he's going to shoot me. He's going to shoot me. Okay, we're good. He didn't... Well, he shot me, but it wasn't that bad. But there you go. That's how the fight goes. Plain and simple. As you can see, look how long it took me to fish up one. One Dreadnoughtus. My bad if it's really loud. All these enemies have been super loud this whole entire time. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna sit here and do that until I get the Sanguine Staff. Is that how you say it? Sanguine? Dreadnoughtus V2. Make sure you fight him. Right there, boys. Boys, that's not him. Make sure you get him. Ballista. We gotta make sure we got the Ballista. Please don't hit me. I'm assuming we want to heal though every time please don't hit me every time we get hit by the dash is he gonna dash he's kind of confusing like right now looking at him but the dreadnoughtless i really do love the design oh. and i guess he's out of here let me finish my statement i really do love the designs of the uh, blood moon bosses just kind of wish they expanded more areas of the game though because i still i mean i guess that's what we have mods for because I still feel like the mushroom biome barely touched. Granite, marble, barely touched. But yeah, this is why we got mods. Boom, boom, bada bing. He didn't drop it. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, I'm fighting uh, Ice Golem. Okay, I was until they stopped. Go get him, boys. Don't kill me. 
my health is already kind of low so let's hope i don't die so we want to kill this dude because he drops a better whip or materials for better whip and that is the cool whip so let's see if he drops it here i'm taking a nice break from the dread nautilus because i've killed like four I haven't gotten a single drop and i've done like four blood moons so that just shows how much grinding there is in terraria if you're playing a summoner and you want to actually like get every single item but like honestly i heard this item is a must for early pre or early hard mode so like i don't know bro <laughs> Why is everything so grindy for the summoner? I, I don't understand it. But drop your core. It's 100% drop, right? Where did he go? Where did he go? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Boy, he's trying to run. Just cough it up. Did he drop it? It's 100% drop, I'm pretty sure. And we did get it. Yes, sir. So let's head home real quick. I don't know if it's nighttime. Oh, damn, it was nighttime. I'm supposed to be doing a blood moon. All right, it's all good. No, we're progressing something. We're getting some sort of progress done. Let me talk to my boy here, and uh, let's see. What's the recipe? So, cool whip. Your summon will focus strike enemies, strike enemies to summon a friendly snowflake. Nice. Did we get, like, an extra summon. Sweet. Do I even have enough souls of night? We look in this chest. Oh, I have enough souls of light, but souls of night absolutely do not have enough. Let's get it. It took way too long to farm a couple of souls because I kept dying. Oh, sweet, and it's broken. Why is everything always broken? Cool whip, though. I think I'm gonna get sluggish on it. It's actually kind of harder to get sluggish than it is to get a good reforge. But yeah, back to farming the Dread Nautilus. My favorite thing, farming. <laughs> All right, I just had a whole damn speech I just gave about getting the goddamn Sanguine Staff. Wasn't recording. You hate to see it. I need to set up shadow play. I'm kind of pissed off that I wasn't recording. This is the second time this happened. It happened the first time when I was doing the Blade Staff farming because I wanted to record every kill. And of course, when I get the drop, I mean, I got the Blade Staff twice. Or now I got the Sanguine Staff. I've been told that this thing is kind of, uh, you have to be close. That's what people were telling me, but I think whoever was telling me that was just spitting bullshit because I feel very far away from these enemies. <laughs> so I don't know who said you had to be close. But yeah, we fought like five Blood Nautilus. Of course, I've, I'm really pissed off that <laughs> it wasn't recording. I hit record. I look at my recording and then I was like, oh, it's not recording. You're going to see a clip. I'll put in the clip where I go. Is it not recording? Was I not recording that whole time? What just happened? <laughs> But yeah, got it. Here's the cool whip in action. I just did all this. This is why I'm pissed off. <laughs> I just got the drop on camera. I just talked about the cool whip in, it in action. Now let's go figure out what to do next. Because the goal is to fight a mech boss eventually. And I'm feeling Skeletron might be the easiest mech boss to take on. But uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see in due time. What's up? We're here in a sandstorm. I'm getting assaulted. The goal is to get the uh, fragments so we can make better armor. All right, here we go. We're in a better... Oh, God. We're in a better sandstorm here, and hopefully this works out in terms of the enemy spawning, the mini boss spawning. Does she? Do we need to kill a certain boss before she spawns? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we don't need to. I guess we'll find out soon. I don't know how rare the spawn is. We got our first elemental here. They weren't lying. This thing is kind of rare. I looked at the wiki to see if it was how rare it was. It's just rare. It's just plain and simple. It's just rare. So let's see if my boys can kill her here. Just her. Just go for her. Right there. Come on, boys. Right there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I got the router discord ready if I need to teleport out. Let me eat some nachos. I bet she wasn't expecting that. My secret weapon, nacho eating. I bet I could just probably just chill right here and she'll die. Maybe I should use the blade staff. Well, let's try the blade staff. People were telling me the sanguine staff was going to carry me all the way up to moon lord or cultist or pillars, something like that. But I don't know, man. The blade staff is pretty damn good in certain areas. Especially if I, you know, slap the, the tag on here, the vine tag. And once we kill a mech boss, we can get our hands on a new flail. That's not what it's called. Uh, what are these things called? Whips. So I can get my hand on something. I think it's called the Durendal. Durendal. Something like that. And uh, I hear that one's actually really good to use. Oh, Sandstorm's over. Please kill it. Thank you. All right. At least we got one fragment. At least we got one. It's still 30 miles per hour, though. So there still should be a Sandstorm. I don't know. I guess not. All right, I just want to throw this in here. I just want to attempt the Queen Slime. Because, you know, she's able to be defeated before any mech boss. And uh, le let's see what we can do here. I, I don't know if I could beat her. Let's do it. Do I have the right summons? Is this who I want to use? See, I never know who I want to use. I never know. Le let's, let's stick with these guys. Okay? And then we'll figure it out if we need something else. So I'm, I was looking at the wiki and it says the black spot is the way to go. Black spot is the way to go for phase one because you can kind of just hover over everything in phase one. But uh, you do have to be careful because it can despawn. 
or she can despawn or something like that i don't know it was also recommended that you put like large gaps in your platforms uh because of the enemies that sp that she spawns in but we're just gonna take this nice and slow are you guys attacking the thing that i have targeted i don't know i can't tell ow that kind of hurt attack the, the the thing that i have targeted it's her i have her targeted can you guys not hit her from here we gotta watch out when she like lands on me like that that's kind of dangerous blade staff are you targeting her i feel like they're not targeting her go get her i should have six blades i think maybe i am too far and that's why they can't reach us because i'm too far okay, i'll get a little bit closer i don't know if they're doing a lot of damage they should be doing a lot of damage come on it's the blade staff you know how long i farm for this it better be doing some damage i do have to get some whips in there so let me uh let me attempt to get some whips in here hopefully i don't die from doing it though that's the only thing uh it's also recommended to fight this boss during the day uh, i was trolled on my original master mode live streams that i did and people made me fight her at night uh, which was awesome because you can't see the projectiles at night or you can but obviously way harder to see at night but let's get it boys i might even switch to the bats let's let's switch to the bats let's see i should have six bats right i don't know that feels like six all right there you go go get them go get them let's see if we can get a whip in here okay she's about to teleport let's see if we can get a whip in here oh calm down did we get the whip in there okay we got the whip see i don't know about whipping as a summoner i feel like whipping as a summoner unless the whips get crazy later on i feel like it's kind of pointless for me because i ain't trying to die by going out of my way to try and whip something but the thing is for the blade staff you kind of do need to whip things oh okay let's be careful here let's be careful here let's use our uh, our movement to get around okay oh that was very very close I don't want her to despawn. I've heard about despawning. Holy shit, there's a lot of projectiles. I heard about her despawning, and I really don't want her to despawn. I don't know if she enrages if we go into another biome like that. That was an accident. Please don't get mad, Miss Queen Slime, uh, your majesty. We're doing good, though. If my summons will attack, we'd be doing even better, but they, they're kind of, they're having a little troubles. Ooh, I should be careful with that. I should be careful with that. I just, I just want to kill her already, though, because uh, this fight's getting a little intense getting a little tense there's too many projectiles everywhere i'm barely like going over some of these projectiles and uh it's, it's getting a little bad i'm trying my best to dodge them though Ooh, that was kind of hard to dodge okay 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 good dodge right there game raiders thank you okay that was a good dodge oh bad dodge bad dodge okay it's all good you that got close come on finish her off boys finish her off we need her dead we need her dead now we need her dead I can only dodge for so long before my brain starts melting away. This will be like the first boss I've ever killed in Master Mode the Hard Mode if we do this. Come on, boys. We're close. Come on, boys. My bat boys. Get it. Kill her already. Please. Get her out of here. Ew, what the hell was that noise? Nasty bitch. All right, we killed her. Wow, that's that is my first Master Mode Hard Mode boss I've ever killed. We killed a lot of mini bosses. And if you consider the pirate ship a boss, then yeah, I guess the pirate ship we did kill or the Flying Dutchman we killed. But there you go. I killed the Queen Slime. I didn't expect it to happen, but I had some pretty good jukes in there. You had to admit, some of those jukes are kind of clean. I was hitting them with a the little back and forth midair. Yeah, the Sanguine Bats, they did great. Blade Staff, I felt like the Blade Staff was actually doing pretty decent. But um, I think these guys are just better for this situation because I don't think she has that much defense. But what's in the treasure bag? Hopefully something we can use. I have no idea. Dang, the new armor set. The new armor set. This thing is actually really good from what I heard. Great defense, great damage for non-class people. Oh, we got the new hook. We got the new hook. So this teleports me. Okay, interesting. That can actually be pretty useful. It's very short range for obvious reasons. Oh, who the hell dropped ice cream? I'll be eating this. But yeah, it's pretty short range for obvious reasons. It'd be OP if it was longer range. Uh, What else did we get? We got the gelatinous pillion interesting this is a mount boing flat boing that's exactly how i describe it let's see it in action oh we can fly um and then we got sparkle slime balloon what's that filled with party girl bath water delicious oh that's it okay interesting and then we got the expert drop here of volatile gelatin releases vol volatile gelatin periodically that damages enemies that actually sounds kind of good i don't know what kind of damage it does who cares 
who cares what type of damage it does that that seems like that can actually be a pretty good thing i don't know you guys let me know but yeah that's all the stuff we got the armor looks cool the bath water mm, delicious now let me look up if she drops anything that we specifically need and then i'll fight her again uh, attempt to fight her again is what i should say i'm happy that we actually beat a hard mode boss your boy just got the golden fishing rod how many quests does that mean i've done 25 something like that i don't know golden fishing rod i love when my rod is gold we're here at 12 in the morning uh, I've been waiting legit forever for this stupid bitch to spawn in, or it's not even her. I'm waiting for the weather to be right, and this legit, oh my god, he's gonna ruin it. That wyvern's gonna ruin everything. But yeah, I've been waiting for damn near forever for a sandstorm to appear. Uh, it's a little rare, it's a little rare, I can't lie. I, it's just the weather, I don't know, I just want to kill this bitch, that's all that matters. But uh, we got a slight problem in... Uh, that dude trying to kill me and uh, i don't know how long i can sit here and juke him on top of juking everything else we'll see though we'll see though i'll throw in the ballista this hopefully that helps me out here i don't know oh we're taking more damage that's not good go over here okay we're good we're good we're good we just gotta oh calm down wife. is she dead yet she's very close to dying please kill her boys please please kill her i can't do this forever they killed her no they didn't please kill her they killed her all right we're good <laughs> i'm fine with dying now Round three, I think this is the last one we need, but uh, I've done a bit of farming while waiting for this. I took on the old one's army a bunch of times before we beat a mech boss, because obviously it's gonna be harder when we beat a mech boss, because the old one's army is gonna get harder to farm, because after we beat a mech boss, the next tier of the old one's army starts. Did they add in the ogre, I think? You see the second one? Yeah, he's the second boss. Thank God we're gonna get this armor. This is all I wanted, and then I think we can actually probably take on the first mech boss like legit fight and it's either gonna be skeletron or it's gonna be the twins but there you go that's the last for bin fragment i'm getting the hell out of here i just noticed that we need like a full adamantite set to finish crafting this oh god <laughs> okay that might take me a bit all right that should be enough i hope let's do it let's make our bars here okay that does not feel like enough uh-oh we need a whole armor set right wait hold on, hold on let me think here does it matter which helmet i use i don't think it does right let me just let me just check just to be just to be sure just to be sure okay oh you don't even okay so i thought you had to make an armor set and then do it but no you don't have to it's just bars and forbidden fragment okay we're chilling boom i think we're chilling i hope we are yes no fuck all right now we have enough finally okay so our defense should go up yes okay um what about our damage just here this is at 57 i know people keep on telling me like ruthless is the best because most summons aren't affected by all the other buffs and stuff on mythical i know i'm not purposely getting mythical they just kind of like pop up when i'm reforging and i'm like okay good enough so like i don't know it's only like one or two percent damage we're missing out on but yeah our damage 57 put this on does it go up it goes down this that's okay <laughs> i mean the set bonus is a damage up on this so we're losing a summon our damage is going down what's the set bonus double tap down to call an ancient storm to the cursed location now is this set bonus let's take off the cowboy outfit because uh, this is actually a really good looking armor set now is the set bonus worth it though is it worth us losing a minion is it worth us losing some damage i don't know honestly i don't know that's the that's the set bonus right there you can summon multiple, eh, not really multiples, it's kind of just like one for a second. But let's see here. We get 15% increased minion damage. We get a minion, one more minion. We get one more minion. Damn, they were really couldn't just put like one more minion. This would have been a nice set, but it's a hybrid set because summoner can't have anything easy. But there you go. We got the set that I'm probably going to fight whatever mech boss we fight with. And uh, I think let's just fight a mech boss and that should end off this episode. I feel like that's enough progress. I don't know. I've been playing the game for a couple days. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna fight the boss uh, tomorrow because it's kind of late already. Nighttime cometh. Look at that. Oh, damn it. Just hit nighttime. They know I'm fighting Skeletron Prime. That's the goal. I don't know the exact strat I'm gonna be doing for this fight. I guess we'll figure it out in a second, won't we? Let's get it. All right, boys. You know what I'm gonna need you to do. Oh, he already shooting lasers. You know what I'm gonna need you to do. Let's focus on something. Let's get our, let's get our head in the game here. Is he supposed to be this fast? Has Skeletron Prime always been this fast? I don't know. So the strat I was gonna do here was just fly around like this. But I don't know how efficient of a strat this is to just fly. Cause when he isn't spinning, he isn't really keeping up with us at all. Okay, that's bad. I got hit by something. Yeah, when he isn't spinning, he isn't really keeping up with us. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I just want my blade boys to do work. Do work, blade boys. Oh, he's spinning. 
He's spinning. Change directions. Oh, he kind of fast though. He was ready for the direction change. All right, let's get his hands. Let's get his hands. What are y'all attacking? Let's get his hands. Get one of his hands. I don't care which one. Just get one of them. Uh, I don't know if these are the, the dudes, the right dudes to use for this. Wow, I'm fucking getting my shit cut. I don't know if these are the right dudes to use for this or what. But uh, I'm using them out. That hurt. Well, let's try the bats. Let's switch to the bats, see if they're working. I feel like I'm doing no damage right now. <laughs> right there, bats. Go get them. It's like I get hit. I need uh, the obsidian shield or something. When I get hit, I get launched back, and that pretty much guarantees I get hit by a bunch of more damage. Come on, boys. Do some work. Get in there. Get in there right now. Right there. Get in there. Come on, boys. It's like they're not doing anything. They, they don't, they don't want to get the dub for me. He's not that far. He's honestly not that far. You, you guys can hit him. I need to stop getting hit, though. Or else this is going to be a quick L. I'm surprised that I've been surviving for this long, if I'm being honest. Because I am getting just, like, bashed. See, I'm using the uh, spider armor here. Because I didn't plan to stand still and cast sandstorms and stuff like that the whole time. But uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. And uh, let's keep the rotted discord out. It's just spinning where he gets a little scary. But if we just, like, fly away, we're chilling. I don't know what they're attacking. I got them attacking whatever the hell they want to attack. As long as I don't die, you know, I'm fine with whatever they attack. Okay, I'm low-key starting to get hit. You know, Skeletron Prime, he's either a super tough one of the, the mech trio, or he's a super easy one. It really depends what sort of playthrough you're doing, uh, what kind of setup you have. You know, the Destroyer, he was usually the easy one, but obvious, obvious changes and being in Master Mode has made him a little bit different. He's not the he's not the dude you can just pick on anymore. Honestly, the Destroyer might be one of the hardest unless you use specific strats. That's like with all these bosses. Though. If you use a specific strat, these dudes aren't that bad. What did I just get? I got a Ninja Strat. Yeah, the damage is actually not too bad. We're doing good. Just keep it up. Whatever the hell you guys are doing, keep it up. I should summon in my ballista rod. Probably get some whips in there every now and then, too. But the thing is, with the whip, obviously, I'm going to change the aggro on accident, which I kind of don't want to do. Uh, we almost killed one of his, two of his hands, actually, are almost dead, which is very good. If we kill those hands, this should be smooth sailing. Yeah, I'm using the bats instead of the daggers. I don't know. I feel like until we get the uh, Durndal, is that what it's called? Something like that. Until we get the next whip, I feel like the daggers aren't going to be too good for me against these mech bosses. But we are going to get the whip literally next. So, uh, it shouldn't even matter that much. Yeah, get on them. Get on them, boys, right here. I can actually get some whips in there. It's just, to make the blade staff super useful, you really do need that tag damage. That tag damage helps out a lot. So, uh, you know, once we kill this mech boss, hey, we can upgrade our ballista rod. Finally. We can finally upgrade the ballista. I haven't even bought another type of rod. Probably should, honestly. But we can finally up upgrade that. It's gonna do a good bit of damage. Uh, they haven't really added in, I don't think they added in a single century, did they? No, they didn't add in a single century for the summoner, which is kind of upsetting. I think they didn't, I don't know. I really thought the uh, the desert staff, I thought that was gonna be a century weapon, but now it's just a regular old summon. We're not gonna be in that summon anytime soon until I plant Terra, right? That's when we can open up those chests. Well, I still need to get the key too, the desert key, which I don't know how hard that's gonna be. But the fight is coming to an end here. It wasn't that bad at all. A little struggle early on because I didn't really have a plan, but now that we have our strat and our plan down, we're chilling, we're chilling. But boom, bada bing, Skeletron Prime is dead. First mech boss killed. We got a pet. We got a pet. Oh my god. This is just as cool as the regular Skeletron pet. Look at him. He's so cool looking. I love the I love the Skeletron pet and I love this pet. Amazing. New is my new favorite pet. And I, re I really like the, the red panda too. But yeah, we got kill Skeletron Prime. Let's head home. Didn't use the new armor that I just spent forever trying to grind and get. It's all good. Uh, we will use it for some boss. I don't know. We'll use it for the next boss. How about that? <laughs> The old one's army, honestly, this might be like perfect for it. Pop them in the treasure bag. We got solar fright. We got hollowed bars. Yes, sir. Hollowed bars. Let's see what we can get crafting. So obviously there's a new summoner set or not really a new summoner set, but there is the hollowed hood, which is a very, very nice addition. Uh, you can also make the ancient versions. There's an ancient hollowed hood. Interesting. Yeah, you can make the you can make the hollow set. And uh, is there a difference? There is a difference, right? There's just it's just the looks. Yeah. And uh, we might rock that. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, we have other things to look at. Primarily, the Durandal, which I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. This is probably what we're going to craft. And obviously, 
We gotta craft this after we beat the twins. So let's do it. Let's craft the Dern doll. This is gonna be our new go-to in terms of uh, using the blade staff minions. Look at this thing. It looks like a sword. Guess what? It wasn't a sword. Well, it is, but like it's a stretchy sword. Yeah, I'm end this episode off here. I don't know if you noticed that I built a whole entire house out of gold. Very fun. Had to go on a different world to mine gold. Cause shout out to this world for only having platinum. We're gonna end the episode off here. Beat a mech boss. Beat Queen Slime. We're making progress. If you haven't heard me say it already, I have never beaten a hard mode boss in Master Mode, so beating the Queen Slime and Skeletron is honestly kind of exciting. I'm kind of happy about that, especially since we're playing as Summoner. And uh, I'm going to point out something here that's going to bother you guys. I think the uh, spriting is a little bit off here on the Slime Relic, because look at the gap. Look at all these bosses, how the gaps are closed. Even the Dutchman, his sprite isn't symmetric on both sides it's still perfectly sides but then you look at the king slime compared to everything else and it's like what went wrong here <laughs> why is there such a big gap in between everything else i don't know but yeah thank you everyone for watching become a channel member if you want to directly support me and i'll see y'all next time